Hi, so today we are going to put Android KitKat on... No, not this time. On the Nexus One. So today we are going to upgrade my Nexus One to Android 4.4 KitKat. Right now, 4.3 is installed, Jelly Bean by Cyanogen mode. Of course, it's a custom ROM, because the Nexus One was supported by only until Android 2.3.7. So it's not a stock ROM by Google. This uh, has a Black Rose H boot already. As you can see, it's 4.3. Works pretty good. Of course, uh, the Nexus One almost has no memory, so we have to use apps to SD and such things. Well, I already moved everything that I need to install Android KitKat on the Nexus One, so we'll just reboot into the recovery mode. I'll press the volume down key to enter it to the recovery mode. It will now reboot into the recovery. Now, I don't use my Nexus One as a daily device, so I don't have to factory reset it, but you should if you use it. I know it's frustrating to install everything again, but this is how it will work. So, we'll scroll down to the flash zip from SD card I think I'll need to toggle the signature verification and then choose the zip uh, file well I don't have almost anything on this uh, device so first of all we'll have to use the HBoot the custom HBoot for the Android KitKat well it will be about uh, 260 megabytes for the system already prepared an HBoot from the XDA forums, I'll give the link down in the description. So let's flash it first. It will reboot about twice if I remember correctly until it will install the new HBoot. So now it is installing the Everwall 4.4. This usually takes a few minutes. After the ROM will be installed, we will install the G apps, which will make us Google Play and other stuff of Google available in the ROM and then we will reboot and check the ROM so it has finished now we'll try to install the Evervolve ROM This should take some time, and after we will install the ROM, we will instantly install the Google Apps. This will give us Google Play and other things by Google. Okay, it has finished. Now I'll install the Google Apps as I said before. Okay, it seems that it finished. 
let's try to reboot and see what we've got. Now I warn you, I have no idea if it will work. This is the first time I try it. When we first boot a new ROM, it usually takes longer than usual, so please be patient. Now let me just remind you that before you do such things you should uh, charge your device as much as you can. It should, it, you don't have to be charging it while you do that but it should be charged just in case so you, your battery won't run low and you'll screw things up. So the screen now went darker, I think the ROM is almost loaded and we should so soon see the ROM itself. Okay, I can see the clock already at the top. Let's try to move it or something. No? Oh! Okay. This is a normal bug that happens in 4.3 as well. Well, it seems it is loaded almost. Let's try to go to the settings just to check it. This is 4.4 and this is KitKat. So finally we have Android 4.4 KitKat on our Nexus 1. Let's try to go to home. I think it's stuck. So after some tests and another reboot, I have found that I installed Ron G apps. So now that I installed it again correctly, I did the same process just with the different G apps. It seems to work. Let's try it. As always, the welcome screen. Insert SIM. I don't have a SIM right now for this. I use a different device. I use basically my HTC One. Well, we'll enter to my Wi-Fi. Sorry, I'll have to put a password. I must say, the keyboard works pretty nice. Let's press connect. Well, I won't add my Google account for now. I'll add it later. Just want to see that it works fine. Welcome! Okay, the E doesn't fit. <laughs> That's kinda interesting. Well, here it is. And for some reason, I can't swipe to the Google Now that's supposed to be there. Well, let's assume that it just has to be enabled. 
a long press and you can see it's the default KitKat version let's again check for some reason I can't enter the settings from here but I can enter them from here yeah we'll scroll down again about press a few times on the 4.4 and as you can see we have a KitKat whoop here it is so let's enter to here oh I can see why we don't have the Google now it is not installed that's the whole point okay so basically it seems to work fine I won't play with it too much because I use my HTC One as you can see here this is my main device so basically that's it we have now Android 1.4 KitKat on our Nexus One. That's it. Thank you.